Pontius Pilate's wife, otherwise unnamed in the Bible, appears in a single verse of the Gospel of Matthew, where she tries to persuade her husband not to condemn Jesus to death. She is named as Procla or Procula in early Christian tradition later also Percula, Claudia Procula or Claudia Procles. She is considered a saint in the Eastern Orthodox Church and the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Christian tradition in the New Testament, the only reference to Pontius Pilate's wife exists in a single sentence by Matthew. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man, for I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. The Gospel narrative continues that Pilate was being pressured to sentence Christ to death, but washed his hands, asserting that, I am innocent of this man's blood. See Blood Curse, Jewish Deicide. In the 3rd century, Origen suggested in his homilies on Matthew that the wife of Pilate had become a Christian, or at least that God sent her the dream mentioned by Matthew so that she would convert. This interpretation was shared by several theologians of antiquity and the Middle Ages. The apocryphal letter of Pilate to Herod, dating from around the 3rd-4th century, names Pilate's wife as Procla and connects to the story of Matthew chapter 27 verse 19. Pilate and his wife are here portrayed as Christian converts. The apocryphal Gospel of Nicodemus, also known as Acta Pilati, probably written around the middle of the 4th century, gives a more elaborate version of the episode of the dream than Matthew, and names Pilate's wife as Procula. Procula is recognized as a saint in two churches within the Eastern Christian tradition, the Eastern Orthodox Church and the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. In the Eastern Orthodox Church, she is celebrated on 27 October. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church celebrates Pilate and Procula together on 25 June. By contrast, later Western tradition contended the dream was sent by the devil in an attempt to thwart the salvation that was going to result from Christ's death. A 12th century Latin passion play describes the dream of Pilate's wife as an apparition of the devil. Diabolus Pilate's wife is sometimes shown in medieval depictions of scenes including her husband. She typically stands behind him, sometimes whispering in his ear, while other representations of Matthew's version of the scene in Pilate's court may depict an intermediary delivering the message of Pilate's wife to her husband, Pilate's wife is a major character in the 30th York mystery play Tapetus and Couchers. Play, where she introduces herself as Dame Precious Percula. Her dream is dictated by the devil. He first soliloquizes to the effect that if Jesus dies, he, the devil, will lose control of men's souls. He then tells the sleeping Percula that Jesus is innocent, and that if he is condemned, she and Pilate will lose their privileged position. She wakes and sends a message to Pilate, but Annas and Caiaphas succeed in convincing him that her dream was inspired by Jesus' witchcraft. Modern reception Topic. Topic. Early modern Topic. Amelia Lanier's volume of poems Sav Deus Rex Judaeorum contains a poem of the same title, in which Pilate's wife is the main speaker. She makes reference to the fall of Adam and Eve, and argues that Pilate's sin in killing Christ abrogates the curse on Eve, since Pilate sinned by not listening to his wife unlike Adam, who sinned by hearkening to the voice of Eve. Pseudo-Dexter combined pre-existing traditions that alternatively called Pilate's wife Procula and Claudia into the single name Claudia Procula. 19th century Topic. In Anne Catherine Emmerich's visions, as recounted by Clemens Brentano, she appears as Claudia Procles. Pilate's wife's dream is an 1846 poem by Charlotte Bronte, a letter, purportedly written by Pilate's wife, was first published, in Slovenian, in the Catholic journal K. Medičski in Rokodelski Novice in 1865. According to the publication, the letter was translated from French by Louisa Pestjak. 
An English translation of the purported letter was published as Letter from Pontius Pilate's Wife. 20th and 21st centuries Pilate S. Wife was called Procula in the Cecil B. DeMille epic The King of Kings 1927, in which Majel Coleman played the role. She had a major part in Julian Duvivier's Golgotha 1935, played by Edwidge Fulier, Pilot. S. Wife, published posthumously in 2000, is a novel H.D. wrote between 1929 and 1934, in which Pilot's wife has the name Veronica. The Wife of Pilate is a 1955 novella by Gertrude von Lefort. The Bride of Pilate is a 1959 novel by Esther Kellner. On television, Pilate's wife was played by Joan Leslie in the 1951 family theater episode Hill No. 1, also starring James Dean as John the Apostle, and by Geraldine Fitzgerald in the 1952 Studio One episode Pontius Pilate, where Procula is depicted as half Jewish, and is brought before Pilate as a Christian rebel herself, fifteen years after Jesus' death. Pilate's wife is mentioned briefly in Pilate. S. Hand Washing Scene in the Robe 1953. Even My Wife Had an Opinion. Other cinematic appearances for the character include the film Day of Triumph 1954, played by Barbara Billingsley, the film King of Kings 1961, played by Vivica Linfers, in which the character is identified as the daughter of the Emperor Tiberius, the Italian film Ponzio Pilato 1962, played by Jean Crane and the epic The Greatest Story Ever Told 1965, played by Angela Lansbury. Also, Marjorie Lord performed the role of Claudia Procula on stage in 1963, John Case played her in Monty Python's Life of Brian 1979. Hope Lang played Pontius Pilate. S. Wife in the 1980 made for television film The Day Christ Died. The character is also depicted in the film The Inquiry, 1986, in which she is played by Phyllis Logan, as well as in that film's 2006 remake, played by Anna Kanakis. In the film The Passion of the Christ, 2004, she is known as Claudia Procles and played by Claudia Guarini. In this film, Claudia fails in her effort to lobby her husband to save Jesus, and consoles Jesus. Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene as she hands them towels to clean up the blood from his scourging. Pilate's wife is featured in the 2008 TV serial The Passion, played by Esther Hall, and in the 2013 miniseries The Bible, portrayed by Louise Delamere. Delamere reprised her role in 2014's Son of God, Joanne Wally portrayed Pilate's wife in the 2015 series AD. The Bible continues, Carol Ann Duffy. S. 1999 Poetry Collection The World's Wife contains a poem titled, Pilot's Wife, two novels by Antoinette May, Pilot's Wife, a novel of the Roman Empire 2006 and Claudia, Daughter of Rome 2008, use the name Claudia, as does Diana Wallace Taylor in a novel, Claudia, Wife of Pontius Pilate 2013. Both May and Wallace depict her parents as Roman aristocrats related by blood to Emperor Augustus, D.S. Rael's early one morning has several brief appearances by Claudia Procula. In one scene, she appeals to the high priestess of Isis when she has a nightmare involving her husband. In his historical novel The Advocate, Randy Singer refers to Pilate's wife as Procula and tells of an earlier vision in which she had seen and been healed by Jesus. Topic. References Topic. Topic. Cited works Topic. Ehrman, Bart, Please, Zalotko 2011. The Apocryphal Gospels, Texts and Translations. Oxford University Press, USA. ISBN 978-0-19-973210-4. Sticka, Sandro 1970. The Latin Passion Play, Its Origins and Development. SUNY Press. ISBN 0873950453. Topic. External links. Topic. 
Media related to Claudia Procula at Wikimedia Commons